What's up everybody, Trent Smith here, and in this video, we're on a very, very, very nice yacht. And we're gonna be cruising about between 650 and 700 miles from where we at, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, all the way to Destin, Florida, to deliver this yacht to its new home base. Right now, we're about to cast off lines. We got Daniel over here looking all sporty. He just changed. He wanted to match me. I had to, baby. We're sporting it now. <laughs> But well, we're getting ready to the cast off lines and get underway. But there's a lot more to tell you guys, and I'll fill y'all in in just a few moments and let you know what's Can we going down. These bows? Yeah, good. All right, let's go up top and get some shots. So the captain just ran down and said, Let me get past real quick. The steering's acting weird. <laughs> I guess this might be a good time to tell you guys that well, when you're doing a delivery, you're just going down and you're kind of picking up an unknown boat. So you don't really know the condition of the boat. You know, of course you have what the previous owners or the broker or whomever, the previous captain tells you, but you never really know. So we get down to this boat and there's some electrical gremlins. This boat got struck by lightning not too long ago. So we're kind of just uh, taking her out, not blind, but we do have some systems down, but we have enough systems to get to where we're going. <laughs> this is gonna be exciting, always an adventure. but. I mean, we're not roughing it. We're calling all the lines? <laughs> Wadey Murphy. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do with the fenders? Are we taking them all in? Uh, I'm going to ask him about that. So see if you want the fenders all off now. I mean, how far until we stop again? Okay. All right, I'll get the stern lines in. What do we got going on here? Are we just like feeding this down in there? Ah, okay. I bet you just stuck these in here. How about the fenders, Captain? Yeah. Take them in? Yeah, they can come in. Anchor, anchor road locker? Right. See how many we can fit up there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm a hayseed, and a plow boy, I'm a farm kid, and a cowboy. Yes, sir. Right here, I'll go this way. Okay. Holy smokes, look at that. Good job, baby. Holy smokes, look how tight that is. Dude, look at this guy. Holy crap, that's tight. Woo! More yachts coming in. That was so freaking tight, man. That was so tight. Woo, baby, it was. Here we go. Check that out. They're everywhere out here. What am I doing? Man, I see the, no, that's the Atlantic. There she is in all her glory. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> this is nuts. This is so awesome and amazing. I'm so glad I'm getting to do this. Woo! Truly really incredible. <laughs> All right, we're out in the open ocean. We're like Captain Joe, just skin her back a little bit more. Now this sucker cruises, I think it, what did he say? 20 something mile an hour, which is fast for a big old boat. We're not there yet. All right, I'm gonna go down below and see how things are going. Woo, this is freaking nuts. I'm gonna go down this ladder like this. Sick, man. Dude. I ain't been out of Hillsborough in a while. Especially with the, that dredger sitting right there, whatever that barge was. The steering. <laughs> in the steering. <laughs> How was it adventure, huh, Joe? Oh. It's... So are we comfortable with everything? We're we gonna be. We're gonna make it. Say as of right now, uh, maybe here in a minute. Uh, go down and check things. I'll get one of you to hold it. I'll go down there first. All right. Asking things that I'm not willing to do. So shoot down there and I'll check it. Yeah, I feel you. Where we're at. Well, how's your comfort level in the overall? Yeah. Uh, we'll have a little more comfort here in about probably 15 minutes. When the CG are still spinning up. Oh, oh. Not like comfort, but how's how's your overall feeling? Good. Um, I don't like the steering. Don't like the steering. Don't like the steering. Yeah. But that's not good. To get the first ship at the helm, and it was a beauty. You guys can see we got a bunch of ships up here we got to make our way through. <laughs> this is freaking amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, now we have slowed down. We're right now, we're in Hawk Channel, headed towards Marathon. And I've been driving the whole time and having a total blast. But we're facing some difficulties or some problems with the boat. <laughs> it's crazy, this is over a $2 million boat. It's only two years old, it's a 2020 model. And, but since it got struck by lightning, it's having some issues and some other things because, I don't know, it's just having some problems. I would think, look, a boat like this should work freaking perfect. But it's not, like our air conditioner up here is going out in the salon and stuff. Now, down below in the cabins, which I'll show y'all later, is working just fine, but it keeps going in and out. So the boys, have they're going down to the engine room to check things. Now I'm just up here trying to dodge coral heads as we come through Hawk Channel. But it's not as easy as you think because my GPS and stuff, my depth sounder, everything does not work. So, I'm using the captain's phone and his Navionics app. Oh, AC just came back on. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> yeah, so this is how we're navigating. <laughs> Always an adventure, baby, but having a friggin' blast! This is so cool, like I feel important. You know, because they're trusting me with this two million plus dollar boat to drive her. All right, my shift is over, I guess. I probably took a little longer shift. But I had to. Not that I have to, but I enjoyed it. It was totally fun. But now I'm about to have some breakfast. I haven't eaten yet today, and it's 2.22. I need to freaking eat. What you looking at? I was wondering who you're talking to back here, buddy. I'm talking to, talking to myself. Oh, okay. In a few days, a week, I'll be talking to your little boy when he's watching, right? <laughs> so for breakfast, we're going to attempt to cook some eggs. Of course, have our sardines. It's going to be tricky because, of course, we're underway, <laughs> so we're kind of rock and rolling, although we are in Hawk Channel now, so it's not as rough as it was earlier. So let's see what we got here. <laughs> so I'm here in this fancy boat trying to cook, and apparently we think that this aluminum pan doesn't work on this induction stovetop. So maybe later on we have to go up top to the grill to cook my eggs. So I guess we're just gonna have to go with sardines, but we do have another nice little treat. Captain Joe remembers something from his old childhood he likes to try. This is Vainas with peanut butter inside. You slit them in half and you lather peanut butter on them. Apple 
appetizing, right? Let's try it. <laughs> So we're underway and we're having some issues. See the left one gremlin. And our air conditioner keeps going out. The generator keeps going out. So we're having to go back down the engine room and start up the generator over and over. This is only the third time for the generator, but it's like the eleventh time for the air conditioner. adventure even if you're on something like this you can always still be an adventure all right so the eggs are gonna wait we're gonna roll the sardines oh check this out oh yeah oh man <laughs> Yes, sir. Mm. Better nothing. You want to try one of the salt sardines? Sure, sir. You welcome to grab or whatever you want to do. Let's see. The ones in water, I think, are better. I didn't expect to like it that much. Yeah, it's pretty good. Sauce? Okay, we're just making it to Marathon, and we've been running for the last little bit with no generator. So it's been hot in here. Oh, and it just kicked back on. So now the captain's about to take controls and head to the top and bring us into the dock. Good? Yep. Good. Let's go. You good, Daniel? Great, man. So you can see since we have no GPS, we're having to use the captain's phone navigation which works but it's far from ideal red and black ones are mine you don't mess with those that's what color yours are <laughs> today they are yeah, go through all the fenders over i need one more up front i gotta go No man. <laughs> <laughs> My man. Captain Dan. My man. Captain Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we pulled up. We got our docks. She's safe and sound. Now we're trying to get shore power hooked up. And either we're having an issue with these pedestals and the shore power on the dock or something within the boat. Oh, Not letting. Boat. Huh? It's boat. It's the boat? Oh, yeah. 
That's not good. I'd rather it be the dock, Captain. That was not fun. What wasn't fun? You just got shocked? Not totally. I turned the Atlas converter on. Oof. <laughs> so we're getting power. Thank you for testing that, Captain. No worries. So, why didn't the boat want power? Why did it trip that, that first time I plugged it in? So we're figuring out this ordeal. Hey, this is a great thumbnail here. Oh, wait, right here. Now, real quick, we're gonna rinse off the boat. She's a little salty from all the spray today. Just gonna rinse her off and get her looking good. Is that apparently, well, I mean, which I understand, you gotta keep these suckers clean. So we're gonna keep it clean. I like that, if you guys know me. made a mistake when we were provisioning. Is my lens dirty? The mistake was we bought cookies. And cookies are my weakness. And I didn't get to eat enough today. So I've been eating a lot of cookies. <laughs> Just, it's been a long, hard day. And yep. Mm. But now they're on board looking up somewhere where we're going to go eat. Hopefully somewhere within walking distance. I need shoes probably. Well, this is the keys. You probably don't, but I'm going to get some. Hey, so, I know. Just thinking that. All right, what is this called? Lazy days? Lazy days south. Lazy days. 43, yeah, just add liquor 43. Good, sir. Thank you, Bob. Okay. Well, folks, this is a gorgeous, nice boat. When it works. Even when it's not, though, it's a beautiful boat. We're just having electrical troubles, and it is pretty. Where's my lights at? And they can be pretty, uh, pretty detrimental to the future of the trip and our next leg and stuff. But we're gonna work all that out in the morning, hopefully, and hopefully we can continue. Don't know. We could be stuck here for a few days waiting for repairs, or we could leave the boat here, or we could chance it and cross the Gulf. I don't know what's gonna happen, <laughs> but it's always an adventure. So I'm about to brush my teeth and go to bed on my nice, beautiful bed. And we're also having air conditioning problems. Like it's turning off or it's not cooling. It's doing different stuff. So hopefully the air conditioner works throughout the night. At least in our bedrooms, in our cabins. But it's nuts. But it, it feels pretty good in mine. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> All right. See you in the morning. Good morning. It was an interesting night. Air conditioner quit at like what, two o'clock or something. <laughs> and it got pretty warm. We're here at the fuel dock. We have to get fuel this morning early when they open up at seven because you're kind of not supposed to be tied up at this dock we're just here because we got here after they closed and so we're gonna fuel up get a pump out early this morning in less than a minute hopefully and then move and then hopefully get fixed for the day and maybe keep continuing this adventure So as we're fueling up, it's not just like a regular boat. You don't just fill it up till it's full or till it clicks because it doesn't actually click on these boats. So it'll just actually overflow and you do not get uh, diesel on the teak. So you have to calculate how much fuel you have and how much you have burned and just how much you want to put in the boat and be really careful with it. So that's what we're doing. And we're trying to fill both tanks on port and starboard equally and full. It's tricky. All right, she's full, now we gotta pump out the black water. Pretty sure all that's empty because normally we would do that when we're offshore, but for some reason, the gremlins in this boat, the automatic pump out is not working. So we gotta do it here at the dock.
<laughs> lady said, you should do TikTok. Do what? The lady said, you should do TikTok. I love TikTok. <laughs> I love TikTok. Yeah. All right, just got the lines up. We're away from the dock. Moving down, we gotta go up in here. And spinner, come up alongside. Time to spin around. This is a 69 foot boat. Okay, so we got a spotter on the front. Captain right there. All good? Yeah, all good. Oh, plenty of room. 13 at least. Actually, it's not that bad with the wind we have. Okay. 25 I think, feet. I think I could do that. Good 25 feet. Oh, okay. Handle the front here, but be ready. I'm good over there now, man. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go down and help in this case. Alright, I'm hopping on the dock ASAP. filter was absolutely filthy and we just got out of there that might be a problem part of it let's check it check it check it feeling good yeah sweet so we went and got a new fuel filter took a taxi ride to west marine taxi ride back installed the new fuel filter generator is running she has been running we put a load on her she's working so that is fantastic so that like gets us back to the partially crippled boat that we began with <laughs> but it's not as crippled as we turned out to be. So now we're gonna have a celebratory Chardin. So a little update for you. It's two o'clock now. We got the generator running and it has stayed running. And when we run the ACs, the ACs are still kicking off every once in a while. So they won't stay running. So it is not very warm, or actually it's not very cool in the boat. It's pretty warm. But we think the boat is to a point where it is safe enough to continue on our journey. Tomorrow we'll be heading up to potentially Clearwater and then making the jump probably to Panama City or Destin and finishing up in Destin. The ride just may be a little bit warmer than we were expecting, but that's okay. So we're kind of done for the day. We did some cleaning up on the boat, straightening up different compartments and things like that. So right now we're probably about to go hit the pool here at the Marathon City Marina, Marathon Marina, Marina Marathon, whatever it is. But to go hit the pool. So we just finished dinner. Sun just went down. We missed it. Check this out. That not slick. We met these folks. Change order. Very nice people. We're in the pool with them. 
So, we got the bridge over there we're going to be heading tomorrow. Thank goodness we're going to be getting underway. Although we do not have air conditioner, we do have a generator that is operable. Just no air conditioner. That's why I went and bought the box fans today at Home Depot. Right now, we just met some folks. Woo! <laughs> we just met some folks who were like, that's a nice boat. Do y'all own the boat? We're like, no, but and then they wanted to come check it out. So, they're coming in touring the boat. It's really, really cool to let people see stuff like that because I know how cool it is to get to see it because that that's me I'm like can I see your boat so it's really really cool so the plan is to turn in early tonight get up early in the morning uh, leave the dock at 7 a.m. and head we're gonna be underway about 10 hours tomorrow all the way to I think we're going to clear water and then we have to stop because we'll be out of fuel if we go any farther and then we'll have another day and then another day so we still have uh, three more days underway till we get to Destin Florida now if the boat will just cooperate it does kind of suck to be on a, you know, two point something million dollar boat and not have air conditioning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is early. It is almost 7 a.m. Sun hasn't come up yet. We just dropped the dock lines. And we're headed out for Marathon. So we got some weather accumulating around us as we come out of this eh, somewhat tight little area. We got this little bit. This pretty joker pull in yesterday evening. Nice looking boat. Woo! Lightning strike, baby. Yeah. No, get away from this boat! <laughs> That's a close one too. That's a close one, little D. Big D. Come out. Can you spin this in? Yep, you're good. <laughs> good morning, America. I'm filming you, I'm not working. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do, man. <laughs> Today we have quite a long day and it's a little bit iffy on the fuel situation, how we're going to have to handle that. So during the cruise, I'll be going down below in the engine room and checking what our fuel burn is, our RPM, our speed, all our, a few other little things. Normally you would check that at the helm, but that's not working on this boat. So every hour I'll be going down below and checking that. And what we're watching for is our fuel burn and you know, we have a safety cushion of how much fuel we want to leave in the tank and not have to burn it all to get to our destination. And we're probably going to be jumping in at Venice, Florida today and filling up and then going to Clearwater uh, to stay the night and fill up again. How kind. How kind. All right, we're coming under Seven Mile Bridge. Make it, just made our turn. We're headed home. Thank God. <laughs> Let's see how far we make it. <laughs> I can say that if I want to beautiful spots. So it would be more beautiful if the sun was a little higher. We could see down into the water, but that's okay. That mosquito, what's the name of that little island? Mosquito? Molasses. Molasses, that's it. I knew it was something like that. I was way off. <laughs> so fortunately we have a current that's helping us along here this morning as we thread the needle. We've been underway about what, an hour and a half, maybe a little less than that. And we're just getting into deep enough water so we can get up on plane and continue north.
check this stuff out. check we're looking good our rpms are lower than you know than we want to run at and our fuel burn is lower than we want to run at everything else looks good so we just increase the speed a little bit and so now we're going to go back down and i'm going to check the fuel burn and stuff again at this new rpm and speed because we want to be sure that we're not burning too much fuel at our given speed which is just trying to calculate fuel burn and time to our destination so that we get there in time but also we don't run out of fuel before we get there back over to it, just grab so you can line back up with that. So when you're in a $2 million yacht and the air conditioner doesn't work, you're of course sweating, right? And you go down checking the engine room where it's showing up hot, <laughs> you need some hydration. And hey, thankfully Element sponsored this video. So we're all about to take us some Element to the face. I got lemon, lemon habanero. What do you got, Daniel? Got mango chili. Mango chili. Captain? Lemon habanero. He got the lemon Stay habanero too. All right, let's give it a whirl. All right. Ooh, that smells good just opening that. Since you are a trained chef, I'll show you how you mix up a hydration packet. <laughs> it's a real precise measurement here. Oh, you're it's spilling called, it. I'm going to lick it off the outside. Oh. You know, you can't waste any of it. Oh, man, that's really good. Is it? Holy crap. It is good. Totally good. <laughs> Delicious. Yes. You know, because you get this that chili. What do they get? That is good. It is good. It's that good. is good. You would think that the, the spiciness would be worth a dirt. Living on the arrow, it is. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name my other hydration packing company because I wanna say that this is way better. <laughs> <laughs> I live by these religious Oh live by IV? No, hey, they actually reached out to me first for a sponsorship. Then I, then I looked at the ingredients. I said, you know what? This one says no, you know, no sugar here. That's why. And, I mean, and the flavor's incredible. No reason I didn't drink all that sugar on that one. That's why I said, you know, I want Element or Liquid IV. Probably. I like that they got magnesium. Yeah. Uh, they're very awesome. Though. Yes, that was awesome. Now my turn to try one. I haven't had lemon habanero yet. Just a mango chili. That's it's good. It is. You can see, I did just go down to the engine room for like the third time, and it's hot, so I deserve this. Yes. <laughs> I, breathed, I breathed it in. Excuse me, I'm going to have to tidy up the galley now. <laughs> this what makes good video, man. Oh, yeah. This is real. Oh yeah. Unscripted. This ain't below the deck. Yeah, you can't write a script like this. Watch it so far. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Thank you, Element. DrinkElement.com slash Trip Smith. You get a free sample packet with every order. Get it.
Alright, we're just arriving at the inlet to Venice. About to go out, get ready to pull up to the dock real quick, fuel and go. So basically the captain just said, okay, it's gonna be a starboard side tie. We need, you know, bow, stern, spring, spring lines, and fenders to a uh, non-floating dock, stationary dock, I forgot what he called it, but uh, so that means our fenders are gonna be vertical versus horizontal. There's a lot of things to learn. I've been learning a lot, so we're about to get it set up right here and I'll show you guys in just a minute what that consists of. So right now we got all the fenders ready. We don't put them over because it's a professional thing. You wait to the last minute or wait till sooner till you get to the dock. We toss them over so you look good as you're rolling in. We have our dock lines ready to be tossed because more likely we're going to have some deck hands or whatever, some people. I forgot what they got them. Somebody on the dock helping us. Why don't I know that? So for this, I just learned this. Normally, we would have the loop attached to our cleat. Well, with this, we want to pass the loop to the deck hands or whatever who are on the dock and let them attach the loop to their cleats so we can have control of our boat. Interesting, just learned that. But as you can see, we have all of our lines and fenders ready to rock and roll as we come right in the beautiful pass here. It's pretty cool you pull up and everybody's taking pictures, you know, which would be like me, you know, normally. <laughs> but now they're taking pictures of the boat I'm on. How cool. We should be going right up there. Daniel! Hey! <laughs> So we canceled the order on fenders. We don't need fenders. Uh, refund, baby, full refund. Oh yeah. Forward spring. Can we? Can we have it? Yeah. Yep. Right there, Daniel. Yeah, that up to the forward piling. Yeah. Yep. That'll be perfect. Got gotcha. you. Nice and tight, right there, Daniel. Yep. Up there. You hungry? Soda, soda supplies and beer up there. <laughs> I'm in spotting the food already. What do you got in the crow's nest? What you can't? You ain't allowed to eat multiple times with a dad. And sardines. All right, we made it into Venice cleanly right here at the crow's nest. We're fueling up port and starboard tanks. And uh, before we get underway, because we're kind of in a time crunch, although we are going to be getting to tonight's home <laughs> kind of late after the fuel docks already closed there. Then they'll be opening up early in the morning at like 6.30, and we'll be ready to top off with fuel and shoot as far as we can. We're not sure if we're going to be able to make it all the way to Destin or not tomorrow. And there are a few factors that we are waiting to come together that will determine that. So this could be one more night. It could be two more nights. Who knows? But this place, this place, this inlet right here, oh my gosh, it is absolutely gorgeous. So we just came in the Gulf. So it's just a quick little jaunt in, really small pass. You come right in here and it's all protected like instantly. Totally beautiful. Got a beautiful park right here. I think I've seen on YouTube before and just three different four different ways to go oh, so gorgeous I need to show a Google image of this spot right here it is amazing I got to come back here with a sea dory see the top off your tea huh see if we fill your tea up yeah, All right, so what's your uh, yeah I want medium too medium. <laughs> what kind of cheese you want man all the cheeses give them all the cheese <laughs> give them as many cheeses as they'll give them here's the monster <laughs> Meat Mountain. Nah, I don't want no Meat Mountain. Alright, fuel is topped off. I did forget to get a picture of the price and all, but whatever. I meant to. Anyways, I'm sure we got a ton. Now we're headed back out the pass. Woo! <laughs> hey, 
camera's roll. Oh. You got it. <laughs> okay, cut that one out. <laughs> Put that on the blooper. I'll go back here. Gosh, you can't trip. <laughs> All right. We're headed out. <laughs> All right. How far to Clearwater? Clearwater. How far? Oh, uh, 54 miles. 54 miles of Clearwater. It's 5 o'clock. <laughs> that really while you're on the first? Yeah, you're in the shower. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yama. We be jamming. We be jamming. Don't you like jamming too? This is delicious. Is it? <laughs> so, one of the perks of eating last, because while we were filling up, Captain ordered us some burgers and went and picked them up. Now we got underway, everything's situated. They've eaten. Now, they don't eat. Their lettuce and tomatoes or their pickles, so I'm gonna just stack mine. To well, the first sky. off, I do, and these pickles right here are mine. This is your pickles. Oh, I only, I only ate half my burger. That's this is the pickles and the lettuce for the other half of my burger. My bad. It's his bag. My bad. <laughs> my bad. Let me get out of here. <laughs> they don't pay me enough for this appearance. Yeah. And the captain, he's currently on the phone with the owner of the boat. Give them the lowdown. We constantly check in, and let them know, especially when it's an eventful delivery like this one. <laughs> there are, there are. Where do you want to run at? Yeah, we'll just kind of slow go to. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Seeing that compared to the buck in here. That's a little one. <laughs> a little baby bear. <laughs> yeah, glad we didn't wake him. Right, yeah. So that's the opening right there. You see uh, Daddy coming out. Ah, copy to my left. Yeah. yeah. So now I get the pleasure of trying to take her in. See how we do. With this jacked up steering gear. <laughs> If we're not going anywhere when I turn the wheel, see? That's going to be the tail-off shot right there. <laughs> Red in front of me is my next turn. Yep, so that'll be on your right. Yeah, Starship. Yep. That's a relatively tight channel. You're coming fast enough. Yeah, what well, do you hear? Yeah. Then we're pissing her up. And it looks like low tide. Oh, yeah, no, it's going out as low. 
And that red floating buoy is my next marker. Oh boy. So I need to really hug the right. Oh uh, no, don't really hug it. No? No. Uh, there you go, perfect line. Okay. Said, don't throw it yet. Is that what he said? Do not throw it. Spring. This is my forward leading? Yes, yeah, sir. All right, so it's late. We're here. The boat's got to be rinsed off each and every day. She can't go to bed with salt on her. Mm. Gotta give you guys an update. It's 1020. Uh, the captain and I, we just walked a long way to a gas station to buy two more cases of water for the rest of the trip. And we go, we clean the strainers of the generator, you know, the motors. This is where the, the cooling water comes in from the ocean and goes in to cool the different systems of the boat. And then we go to crank the motors, to crank the main engines to get them primed back and just ready to go in the morning. Engines don't start. Turns out the problem is low voltage. Not a good thing. Why is the voltage low? Who knows? No one knows. There's so many things going on with this boat. It is insane. So that puts the Captain Joe in a predicament that he has found himself in so many times throughout this trip, which is totally a part of this that people don't see and don't realize. There's a lot going wrong when something small goes wrong. But so he has to call the owner, he just got the phone with him for like the third time today. It's like, hey, I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is, air conditioner's working in half the boat in the stateroom, so we're gonna sleep good tonight. Bad news is, motors won't crank. Here's the problem, and he just kind of lays it all out. Now we're not sure what's gonna happen, but it is late. I'm about to go get a shower and go to bed. Good news is, we don't have to get up at 5.30 in the morning and get to the fuel dock at 6 a.m., or no, 5.30, which was our, our plan so we could get back to Destin in time before dark. Bad news is, we may not make it to Destin. So, it's crazy. I'm gonna get a shower. <laughs> this is nuts. I'll see y'all tomorrow and hopefully, I don't know, the chance for good news is slim. <laughs> good morning, beautiful people. It is currently day five of this grand adventure. We're here in Clearwater, waiting to hear from the owner and the broker and stuff about what we should consider our next move for the boat, whether it is going south a little ways to a marina slash yacht brokerage, or going even farther south to another marina, or I don't know, don't know, leave it here. I don't know what we're gonna do with the boat. But since it is potentially our last day on the boat, we are cleaning. So this is part of it. We gotta clean the boat and leave it better than we found it. And I am tackling all of the shiny interior surfaces, and there are millions of them but fortunately we you know we took our time not to uh mess them up so you know how to get fingerprints on them isn't that right daniel yes sir that's right, right that's right <laughs> you paper towels on this boat no that's all we got well then yeah so i'm trying to make mine last now i'm going to Yeah. All right, so the chef is giving me orders to take the sausages. Since our microwave doesn't work, nothing works. We're going to heat them on the bow. <laughs> we bought so much food that we couldn't cook, we couldn't make. That's all right. I got it figured out. <laughs> oh, yeah. This big old black iron skillet up here. We'll just put it right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let it heat up, baby. Oh, nice. Got an epic racing kayak over there. Mmm. 
so uh, still dealing with that. Let's go check our sausage. <laughs> what a mm. Not exactly warm, but it's better than it was. Still can't get over. I don't know how many times I'll say it. This nice boat and we can eat. <laughs> oh man. That's my last can of sardines. It's good enough. We are officially leaving Clearwater and I believe we're headed to Sarasota which is back south the opposite direction that we intended to go. Not towards Destin. <laughs> the motors did crank this morning, but that's because the generators charge the batteries. But now we don't know what's gonna happen after we get underway. Will the batteries go down and then they not be able to restart unless the generator sits and runs for a while. And that just isn't the most safe uh, situation as you're crossing the Gulf. Because if you're crossing the Gulf and the motors go out and you can't crank them, you it's not good just to sit there for a few hours. Now we're following this little pirate ship out. Let's go check it out. It is super shallow. This is where we came in yesterday. Super shallow. Really narrow channel. So Daniel just came up here and he's like, oh my god, you'll never believe what just happened. And we're like, what? He's like, the microwave just kicked on. It went boop. <laughs> boop, boop. So there's so many electrical gremlins in this boat, you have no idea. So let's go see if we can cook something in the microwave. <laughs> Is that cool, Cap? Alright. I'll be there. Alright, we're following the pirate ship through here. Oh man, this is a tight little spot. I'll be honest with you, it was pretty cool to get to drive through that yesterday. I mean, that is a tight, tight spot, especially with the steering issues. It's a freaking tight spot, man. Woo. All right, clear seas ahead, hopefully. <laughs> oh yeah. That looks just right too, my friend. Did you scramble it up or you just sat them in there? I scrambled them up. Only oh, my last meal on board. Mmm. The last supper. The last supper. I've been without my eggs for a while. And that is not good. So just confirmed our plans. We're not going to make it to Destin. Right now we're headed to Sarasota. To Marina Jack where we will leave the boat. And we'll get a rental car and we'll go back up to Destin. Man, this is tough. But So right now we got to finish cleaning the boat. So I'm about to strip my bed of linens. Strip all the beds of linens wash all that stuff because there's a washer dryer on board and uh, then we just got to tidy up the boat granted she doesn't need to be ready for anything super extreme because she's not being chartered or the owners aren't coming to stay on it or anything you just leave a yacht in very good condition all the time so i'm the maid now <laughs> Dryer. There's a dryer. Wait. Is that the dryer? What is that? No, this is the washing machine. Okay. Forget the foggy screens, but we're coming in the longboat pass and it's absolutely gorgeous look at that shallow sandbar right out here in the gulf a totally pristine day hey. now we got some tight maneuvers to do up here for letting the old captain drive there we go is it opening it yet yep the gate's coming down oh i see it let's go through this freaking we got an incoming tide behind us. We're going through this old Hey, buddy. Okay, you 
cleared it. That's too close, Joe. That's <laughs> man, that's too close. Jeez. That was tight. All right, got my bathroom all cleaned up. Got my bed straightened up, my room all nice and tidy. I mean, I don't know if you can see how nice it is, but I think I did a good job. Everything's pretty clean, although they are going to be doing some work on the boat, electrical work. No telling what else kind of work on the boat to get this thing ready to go to Destin. But this does look like the end of the road for us. She was a beautiful boat, fantastic adventure. Man, I look forward to doing something else similar, or maybe even, I don't know, who knows, something a little smaller, a little crazier, or a little bigger, a little crazier. You never know what could be coming. So folks, take care. I appreciate y'all watching. Get out there. God bless, and I'll see you on the next video or adventure, whatever it may be, large or small. We do them all. <laughs> all right. Love you. God bless.